Australian billionaire James Packer enjoyed some downtime with his friends inside his $50 million estate in Cabo, Mexico this week. And on Thursday, the 54-year-old was spotted leaving the property with some of his pals, which included a glamorous brunette. Dot. Her brunette locks were slipped back and she accessorized with a pair of stylish dark sunglasses. Dot. Dot. James appeared to be in good spirits, smiling jovially as he said goodbye to a few friends. The day prior, the casino mogul entertained his friends and their families inside his estate. At one stage, he joined several guests for lunch outdoors on a large circular oak table, while another guest lounged alone by the pool. Packer's luxury property in Cabo is located on the southern tip of Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. He first bought the land in 2018, with construction taking about three years. The property takes up one of the largest beachfront blocks in Cabo San Lucas. He reportedly paid $10 million for the site, which boasts direct beach access and an interrupted views of the Sea of Cortez. Packer recently said he was the happiest has been in years, after shedding 25 kilograms in 75 days and ditching the seven mood-altering drugs he was taking to help with his mental health. The former executive chair of Crown Resorts will return to Sydney next March with his ex-wife Erica and their three children, Indigo, 13, Jackson, 12, and Emmanuel, 9. In roughly 130 kilograms now and want to be back to 100 kilograms by the end of 2022. I want to swim with my kids at Bondi when we're all in Sydney together next year and be 100 kilograms, he told the weekend Australian from his home in Mexico. The businessman said had quit the antidepressants and antipsychotic drugs he was prescribed in March, and was now looking to rehabilitate his reputation in Australia. I am very much looking forward to seeing Crown Sydney. It hasn't been appropriate for me to be in Australia for the last few years, he said. Packer sold Crown to private investment company Blackstone for $8.9 billion in a deal that was finalized in June, pocketing $3.3 billion in the process. The sale marked the end of a major chapter in his life which at times was mired by controversy amid inquiries into the company and allegations of money laundering. Despite the investigations, the billionaire credited his casinos in Melbourne, Perth and Sydney for changing the cities for the better. The father of three said he was now excited to begin his third act and plans to ease back into public life in Australia.